Hello everyone and welcome to PE Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to draw a circle in isometric uh, drawing. So in the last part of this video, we've looked at 20 other isometric drawing. Um, if you missed those videos, kindly check the description of this particular uh, video. You'll find a link to all those videos. So now for us to draw uh, a circle in isometric drawing, like the one we are having here, this is a circle in isometric drawing. Using isometric projection, this is a circle and this is a circle with a diameter of 50 millimeter as indicated here so when you see something like this let me show you here. when you see like this it means a uh, diameter so this circle is a diameter of 50 millimeter that means the radius so if the diameter is 50 millimeter so that means the radius um, is equals to 25 millimeter so I want to encourage you to make sure you watch this video to the end because I'm going to be giving you some tips that will help you to draw uh, a second isometric projection depending on irrespective of um, the where you want to place the circle and how you want to place the circle I'm sure you understand that by uh, at the end of this video you understand what I'm talking about so for example now let's look at this circle again this circle like, like I said is a diameter and a radius of 2.25 uh, millimeter now if you are to draw it on a normal circle so I'm with my compass now and then we measure a radius to be two and a half centimeter that's 25 millimeter so that means if you are to draw the circle normally you are going to be having something like this so this is the no no, no the normal way of drawing a circle this is the normal circle but this same circle we are having here is the same circle we are having here but the difference is that this is just a regular circle why this is in isometric uh, projection projection so how do we go ahead to convert this circle to this so that's what we want to do so to start with so if you have been following this uh this video remember that whenever i want to start the first thing i used to draw is to draw my horizontal line so i already have my t square the two you are, you are going to need you are going to need your t square you are going to need your set square and for the first time if you have been following i'll be using uh the compass so i'll be putting you throughout to use all of these things to get your isometric circle so let me draw my horizontal line And then I bring in my set, uh, my set square. Like I do say, the, make sure your set square is sitting properly on your on your T square. And then you draw your vertical line. So you note the point of intersection. So this is the point of intersection. And then you draw your uh, your thirty degrees line. For this, you won't be needing a protractor at all. And then on the other side. So we already have this. Now the next thing is this. Since we are drawing a, a circle with a diameter of 50 millimeter, so that means the distance from, from here to here, like this, this is the center of the circle. From here to here is 50 millimeter. So that's five centimeter. All right. So since we are dealing with that, what we are going to do is on this line, we are going to measure that 50 millimeter. So I'm going to take the measurement for 50 millimeter. So this is it here. And on the other side, I'm still going to measure Uh, 50 millimeter which is same as 5 centimeter so I have not those points so I'll bring back my set square and my T square so this one line turning the other way So this is the point of intersection so what it basically means that our circle will be within the, this box that i'm having here so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to find uh, divide it in like this find the middle of this line and this line and then we are going to divide it like this and like this so let me just divide this let's see this is so that'll be 25 that's 2.5 and then 
So, so just to make it easy, let me let me just call these points points A, B, C, and D. So what we've just done is we want to divide this uh, line BC and then line CD. So I haven't gotten that. You can use it to divide what we are having. So it's a faint line like this. And like this so you can see how I've been able to divide it now the next thing you are going to do is this now pay attention to this now if you look at this um, this four uh, side let's call this this angle a angle B angle C and angle D you will notice that this angle D B and angle D they are less than 90 I come again the angle here and the angle here they are less than 90 but the one a and C. If you look at it, A and C, you can see that they are more than 90. So being more than that is up to the angle. The form is forms an up to uh, up to the angle. That's angle that is more than 90 degrees. So now from those points, so starting from A, let's start it from A now. We are going to draw a line from this point A to here. So let me call this point one, and then point two. So we are going to draw a line from A to point one. From A to point one. All these are with faint lines. I'm only making it visible so that uh, you can see them. If I make it very faint, it won't be uh, clear in the camera. So you, you'll be having something like this. So I've drawn a line from point A to point two. So what I've done is so from point A, I draw a line to this point two, and then from A also I draw a line to point one. Now what we down to point A. We are going to repeat the same thing starting from point C. So this time around from point C, we are going to draw a line. So let me call this point point 3 and then point 4. Remember this point is where we used to divide those lines. So from point C now, I'll draw a line to point 4. So just make sure you pay attention to point 4. And then from point C, I'll draw a line to point 3. Now, if you look at it very closely, look at the point, this point of intersection right here. This point of intersection right here and the one right here. So let me call the, this one X1. And let me call, okay, let me just call it X and let me call this Y. So if you are following and you are finding value, please give, it a, give the video a thumbs up. And also note that all this labeling and all this lettering and numbering I'm giving, you can see I didn't I didn't do this I didn't do it here. I'm only doing it so that you can really note the points and be able to understand it so you don't get confused. So if you, if you really understand it and when you are doing yours, you might not really need to start showing all these points A, B, C, point Y, point one, point two. I hope that is clear. So now that we've noted point X and then point Y, which is which is this point and this point. So now we bring in our compass. Now you place your compass on point A. So I'm still going to be giving you another another important tip, another important hint when, once we finish drawing uh, the isometric circle. So make sure you keep watching the video to the end. So now you bring in your compass, you place it on point A. From point A, you adjust your compass so, to where we are having this point 1 and draw it to point 2. So once you place it on point A, so you adjust it to point one, and from there you are going to draw it to point two. It's definitely going to get to point two. So you can see it, that is forming one part, one side of the circle we are drawing. So you go to point C now. So from point C, so you are going to join point three and point four. Point three and point four. So now we go to point X. So you place your compass on point X. So you adjust it to 
the same length with point to point one. So you can see from x to point one, and then it will be the same thing to point four. So you can see you have to be very careful when you are doing this. So I need to clean this off so that I can do it again. Alright, so let's do this again. So from point X. So we draw it to from point 4 to point 1. So you can see. So with the same thing from point Y, we are going to draw um, an arc from point 2 to point 3. We are going to connect those points. So on point A, Y. So just make sure that your compass, you know, is properly uh, gripped to the to your paper so that it won't just slip like we did earlier. So you can see with this now we already have our circle. This is it. This is the circle like this. The one that is coming from one to two to three straight to four, and that's our circle. Important thing to note, when you are doing yours, make sure all these um, lines, make sure they are, they are with faint lines. They are, make sure they are very faint. I'm sure you can see it here because I just want you to see it so that you can note the points. If you look at what I'm having here, you can see it's not very, very visible. You can barely see it, you know, but the points are there. So that's what you should always note when you are drawing yours. And then the important thing I also want you to note, like I said, is that you pick your this um, whenever you want to draw it let me do a, um, a rough sketch for you so that you can get what I'm saying now if you look at it for this particular uh, example I did you know when we drew our 30 degrees and our 30 degrees and then we had something like this so what you just do is once you have divided it you have noted the middle of the lines so you pick it so this is our A this is our A you just have something like this another one like this and this is our C and then you have another one like this and why this is our Y and this is our X remember so this is from here you bring your place your compass from here use it to join join it to this point and then from here you are going to join this point and then place your compass here use it to join it like this place your compass here you draw it like this I hope you get that but now you no, know, like I said, this what the main thing I want to bring out is this. This one that is looking like V and the inverted V that we are having from this point. Let me just do it again. Now the V we started from here. And remember I said it should be from the side that is the obtuse angle. That is the angle that is more than 90. That is where you take your V and your inverted V. Don't make the mistake of when you draw your horizontal line and then you do your 30 degree lines. And you're having something like this, and then you are picking your V like this. Like this. It is wrong. I, I hope you, what I'm saying is clear. It's very wrong like this. You pick your V from the angle that you know that is more than 90. And they are always at opposite side. So that is where you pick your V from. And sometimes you might have reason to be constructing yours like this. Depending on how the uh, the circle appear in your diagram or your drawing. You might you know you might start with a vertical line like this so that means what you are going to be doing will be like this and then like this so this time around if you want to pick your v your v and your, your inverted v it will be after you have you know located the center of the lines i hope for what i'm saying is clear if you are fine if it's clear to you please let me know in the comment section below so that means if you want to pick your b your v remember it to be from the angle that is more than 90 so that will be to be like this And then from here to be like this and then for the inverted one to be like this and then like this so with that you'll be able to draw your isometric circle using your compass to connect all this this is just a freehand sketch that's how it's looking like this so i hope what i'm saying is is clear to you if you, if you 
it is clear let me know in the comment section below and if you find value please give it a thumbs up and if you just uh, come across this particular video this video 21 i've done over uh, other 20 videos on the isometric drawing please check them out it's in the description of this particular video so in the next um, in the next uh, video what i'm going to be showing you is how to draw uh, a cylinder in isometric drawing using isometric projection to draw a cylinder so let me show you what it's going to look like I hope you can see that if you cannot see it you see it in the next part of this video which will be coming up immediately after this video so thank you very much for watching and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel PE Academy uh, please click on that subscribe button It's at the lower right of your screen It's absolutely free to subscribe so thank you very much and I'll see you in isometric drawing 21